getting in some kayaking on our off day. Always fun, adventurous stuff. Let's see, over there is Mount Hood, if you can see it. Still covered with snow. Just out here on Scapoos Bay, which is uh, northwest Portland. So, pretty fun day. Uh, like I said, just out here enjoying the calm, cool water. Getting in some activity on our off day. Went and saw a new therapy place uh, down in Portland and uh, got some work done on my hip and my knee and um, then got some exercises to do to keep things feeling good so excited for uh, feeling better and getting moving in the off season so well, yeah just uh, trying to do something active every off day uh, whether it be kayaking or hiking or something fun that we enjoy doing outdoorsy so uh, gradually working our way up to more difficult and uh, more difficult hikes that way you can see better views uh, saw a couple bald eagles today so that was pretty cool so just just a good day a fun day and getting out and doing stuff that we enjoy doing so catch you guys later so the good thing about having your training kind of planned out uh, throughout the year is that you can break things down into phases and uh, that will allow you to bring in different aspects uh, throughout your training uh, you know from a quality of life standpoint not everything has to be 100% go in the gym all the time um, you know you want to be able to kind of relax and unwind in different phases that doesn't affect the uh, the ultimate goal right so the ultimate goal uh, for a lot of people is to be the best they can be and improve their their total so with that in mind you set your training plan accordingly and you know for me if if, if that means doing meets twice a year so i can see substantial improvement and that i can have some time away from the gym and uh, a mental break from you know pushing myself to to max max loads then that's going to give me a lot more clarity um, and a lot more enjoyment in my life and allow me to do different things and step outside of, uh, of the confines of, you know, having to be in, in meat prep and not being able to um, do the things that I enjoy, you know, because once, once it gets time to uh, get into competition mode, I tend to eliminate a lot of the outside factors like, uh, you know, like extra, extra work going hiking eight, 10 miles, uh, you know, making sure that everything is just as dialed in as possible so now during this phase of training I'm able to incorporate a lot more activities and a lot more things outside of the gym and um, being able to do that gives me a, a clear mind and an extra amount of focus um, you know outside of the gym whether it be business stuff where I push more uh, videos I push more content uh, while I'm not 100% in the gym um, whether it be getting outside going hiking um, doing stuff that you know if it does affect the training day the next week or the next day it doesn't really make that big of a difference because the whole point of this phase of training is just to get more work in and uh, get things moving again so I don't really try to manipulate my schedule around training. I try to manipulate training around my schedule and what I want to do. Whereas when it gets time to uh, get ready for me, it's the it's the complete opposite. You know, if I do want to go do something, I make sure that it's not going to affect the next day uh, day's workout, so that I can continue to progress and do what I love to do. And and you know, that's just a very very minute and small. Um, sacrifice that I make in order for me to achieve the goals that I have set for myself and you know that's becoming one of the best power lifters in my weight class and competing at a high level with the top guys so I'm able to kind of you know wrap my my mind around that for the year is you know two competitions a year and having phases within them and learning um, 
how to incorporate different aspects of life so that there is um, an extreme balance so to speak so that way you can do a bunch of different things within your life uh, within that time frame that allows you to do different hobbies explore different ventures travel and do a lot of fun stuff that you'd like to do um, in that way whenever it comes time to meet prep you're able to 100% focus on the task at hand because you've gotten everything out of your system and you've been able to plan for that so for me I like to do my meets uh, around the rainy time of the year anyways in Portland um, I probably won't ever do a meet in the summertime just because it's uh, extremely enjoyable out here to be able to get out and go hiking and you know see the see the beautiful scenic uh, scenic sites that they have out here, kayak and rock climbing, you know, things like that that I like to do. Uh, so if I have my meets in November, October, you know, the, the winter, fall, rainy season of Portland, I'm not really missing out on much anyway. So it's okay for me to commit myself to those dates and be able to push those things and make it a priority in my life where Right now, this phase of training, uh, priority is to get in better shape, um, be more active, do more things, travel. So that's what we've done. We went to Hawaii. Um, we have some plans maybe to do a little bit of traveling during the summer, uh, maybe go to Denver, see some old friends. And then we also have Kaylee's pro debuts where she'll be in Phoenix in San Diego. And then by that time's up, we'll be kind of dialing things in and settling down for, for the powerlifting meet. You know, so that gives me a lot of uh, a lot of freedom to just do what I'm do what I want to do and be able to push the things that I want to push. And I know that in order to be the best, you have to commit yourself to that, and that requires a lot of things um, that you have to give up, which is completely fine. That's the path that I've chosen to do, and that's the that's the route that I'll continue to push and I'm completely okay with uh, you know not doing the, the small things outside of the gym uh, that some people would consider uh, you know too too extreme you know why don't you live a little that type of thing that you hear all the time so being able to have that bit of a, a extreme balance where whenever I have summer off I'll be able to do a bunch of stuff and try to get it in in as little amount of time as possible and then be able to completely focus uh, myself to the meet whenever it's the other time of the year so I know that's not exactly what uh, people would consider a balanced life but for me it's, it's what works with uh, my personality and what work, works with my goals and that's kind of the way I structure my life is you know the things that I enjoy to do the things that I want to do is what is uh, most important to me and whether that's uh, within the norms of uh, everyday living for what other people consider balance or consider normal that's not really any of my concern um, I do things because I want to do them the way I want to do them and make sure that myself and the people around me are uh, are happy that I don't neglect them and that I'm able to continue to you know strive for progress and in, in my business and my personal life and everything but that's just kind of the way I view um, you know, life in general is why go through it and worry about what other people think of you when you should just be focusing on just doing the things that you enjoy doing and, you know, spending the time with the people that you have around you and maximizing the day-to-day -day aspects of it. Too many people sit around and, and worry about what other people think of them if they think that, you know, if you're committed to your diet and you bring food with you that people are going to judge you based on that and they may but that's that's more their problem than mine and being able to you know turn down uh, things uh, that you get invited to because you're prepping for a meet and that's a big deal to you you know you may lose uh, some friends over it but you know that that's life right you make these decisions and you you live with them and if they're you know the bigger things that you want to do then you just push that and you'll eventually find people that fit into that stereotype as well and uh, you'll have a small little circle of people that are doing the same things and that's kind of the way I structure my life and structure my my training so just a little bit of insight to that 
with all the extra stuff that you guys have been seeing on the blog. Just kind of want to explain my rationale. So as always, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.